Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the Gold Coast Suns, the worst day of their lives. And after their massive historic win against Port Power the week before, where they came back from 40 points at Amy Stadium to win that game, they now find themselves coming to Melbourne and getting ready for an absolute ass-kicking by Essendon. We've got Danny Frawley commentating this game, which you don't hear very often. This is honestly watching a junior club playing against a senior club. Look at the skill errors from the Gold Coast, and you've got the Bombers going forward as fast as they can, trying to take advantage of these turnovers. Even Gary Ablett can't do a spoil there. Look how fast they're going, playing on at every cost, and they go forward. And this is basically setting the tone for the game. Have a look at this. We've got the full back outmarking the full forward. This really was a great exhibition of how you can move the ball literally from one end to the other so quickly. And every team should have taken advantage of this against Gold Coast in their first season. But Essendon were really the first team to do this. And look how easily they're scoring here. Party time in the first five minutes of the game. Look at this. Zach Smith dropping the ball. Whoops. And have a look at experienced Jared Brennan. Turn it over straight to the Bombers forward line. Stanton takes them up. Danny Frawley calls it. Literally the Gold Coast cannot tackle them at all. So these backline players are starting to panic now. And Bell Chambers takes an easy mark. Going to see Stephen Main, his first ever game, turning it over. Oh, not good. And Ryder's going to punish him with a 50-meter goal. So he's lining up. This will be goal number 50 for his career. Gives it and the score now 32-0. We've got Remus now, and this is too easy. Have a look at the defense here. They're trying hard, but they just have no skills to match the Bombers on this day. And this is a minute later. It literally is boys against men as the Bombers just pump it out of the center square. It's far too easy. People just lining up to kick goals. Score now 44 to 1. Have a look at the Bombers dancing around them in the center here. Literally doing whatever they like and another foray forward. Three loose Gold, Gold Coast players there. And the Bombers have another shot at goal. Unfortunately, they missed this one. But pretty close. Have a look at this. They can even screw it up and still score out of it. Look at the Stanton, a terrible handball. But literally bombers everywhere. Just waltz in from 10 metres out. 51 to 1. Have a look at this. This is beautiful work out of the centre. This is literally what you would do at training. It's like a handball drill. Go back to the centre, go back to your back line, and then kick it forward and away you go. Terrific stuff. A real exhibition. Got Paddy Ryder destroying Stephen May in his first game. And then kicks another sensational goal from 50 metres out. Look at that. Finally, the Gold Coast win it out of the centre. Toy gets loose and look at what he does. Straight to Essendon. Can they finally go forward and score? Took too long to give the handball away and then they screw it up. And Zach Smith didn't go hard enough. And it just gets messy from here on in. And have a listen to what Dwayne Russell says here. It's like pulling wings off flies. Have a look at this. There's absolutely no pressure whatsoever. There's two loose players practically fighting each other for it. And they clear it again. Have a look at this. This is insane the way they go forward here. Jeddah just won't give up. Watson just goes straight through. And then an amazing goal. And have a look at this play. Howlett just beats three of them and gets through. Unbelievable. And then Hocking. 81 to 1. And there's no excuse for this. This really just is shitty tackling. Should have got Monfries there. 
And that was the reason they went forward and had another shot for goal. So that's just shitty effort there. A terrific mark here in the goal square. Lonigan took it. Should have been fisted three though. Have a look at Ablett. It runs about 50 metres without bouncing the ball. I counted about 20 steps and it doesn't get paid. And Gary Ablett absolutely trying his best to get him forward. And Swallow drops them up. And they're currently on 15 goals. It should have been 16. Could have been 16 goals three, which would have been amazing. But they end up with 15-4 at quarter time. And you can see Ablett trying so hard here, but the rest of the team just doesn't have the skills. He takes them on at every, every chance he gets. Even here, nice look away handful, but fumbles everywhere. And once again, the Bombers go forward. Have a look at Zah Zaharakis here. He's going to make the score 100 to 1. 16 goals to nothing. And finally, Gold Coast go forward and Michael Riscatelli has a chance for their first goal in the game. It's 100 to 1. And he finally does. Yay! And that, my friends, is the Gold Coast Suns, the worst day of their lives. Essendon would score one more goal right on the siren, one more point, sorry, right on the siren, and they would win 197 to 58, 139 points. Let me know what you think in the comments below.